good morning children i hope you heard all the previous videos and understood something about this chapter propagation of sound waves today i'm going to give you an idea about what to study in this chapter so take your book open to page number 174 page number 174 Yeah the first thing you should know is this one a vibrating body is a source of sound okay then come to the right side this is the next information you should know material medium is necessary for propagation of sound from one place to another then next thing is requisites of a medium this question comes often what are the requisites of a medium for the propagation of sound so first point is medium must be elastic second medium must have inertia and the third medium must be frictionless so if you write till this it's enough but it will be good if you read through this so that it will give you an idea about the meaning of it but otherwise if you ask requisites of a medium it's enough if you write only this medium must be elastic medium must have inertia and medium must be frictionless medium must be frictionless okay the next information is sound can not only propagate in gases but also in solids and liquids then next thing is sound cannot travel in vacuum this sometimes come in reasoning question why you can't hear each other on surface of moon so on moon there is no medium therefore on moon one cannot hear the sound produced by others okay now come to the actual thing that is propagation of sound so through the uh, videos you would have understood that there are two types of waves longitudinal wave and transverse wave so these are all the explanation but the main content what you have to know starts from here you can write the heading here longitudinal wave longitudinal wave and mark this as first point from here one compression and one rarefaction together constitute one wave or one longitudinal wave that's the first point second point you should know about it is this is actually the definition okay this is the definition this wave in which the particles of the medium vibrate about their mean position in the direction of propagation of sound is called longitudinal wave this is the definition if they ask define you will write this then the third one okay this point finishes here and the third one starts here longitudinal waves can be produced in solids liquids and gases that's your third point and then the fourth point at compression density and pressure of a medium is maximum while at rarefaction density and pressure of the medium is minimum these four informations you are supposed to remember about a longitudinal wave okay now come to the transverse wave come to the right hand side of this page write the heading here as transverse wave okay uh, now the most common question is difference between longitudinal wave and transverse wave so i'm going to tell these points in the order in which longitudinal wave is given okay so the first point in your difference will be this one a transverse wave is composed of crest and trough there you said compression and rarefaction so here it will be crest and trough that's the first point second point will be your definition like what you had there here the wave in which particles of a medium vibrate about their mean position in a direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave uh, wave that's the second point and the third point will be third point will be this one transverse waves can only be produced in solids and surface of liquids and then the fourth point is this one position of maximum upward displacement is called crest and position of maximum downward displacement is called trough so what you're going to do is this question you're going to write in your notebook 
difference between longitudinal wave and transverse wave and it should have four points okay and this first point here this point is the definition of transverse wave okay point number 2 we have marked that is the definition okay next we go to the next topic characteristics of wave motion what are the two characteristics of wave motion first is wave is produced by a periodic disturbance at a point in the medium second the particles of a medium vibrate about their mean position energy is transferred from one place to another the particles won't leave their position it's only the energy that is transferred from one place to another okay now these definitions time period frequency wave length and all that you are supposed to remember it i hope we you remember we did it in eighth standard towards the end so i'm sure you remember all those definitions now the next thing that you have to study in this chapter is this figure draw the question will be draw a displacement time graph of a particle of wave and show all the give all the necessary all the possible information okay so this will be your diagram time on the x axis displacement on the y axis and you will draw a transverse wave like this and then these are the labelings you have to do okay this is not given please mark it crest this max this point is crest this point is trough and then this is amplitude a and t so below this you will write a amplitude and t time period so a displacement time graph will give you the time period come to the next graph that is displacement distance graph that's the next graph that is asked very often okay so in this also x axis distance y axis displacement you'll draw a transverse wave and then mark these points crest trough amplitude and here you won't have time period but you'll have wave length so the length of one wave mark it as lambda and write lambda is wave length and a is amplitude this question comes for two or three marks so you should be able to draw it properly with all the information next is the next is the relationship between wave length wave velocity and frequency so this relationship you are supposed to remember wave velocity is equal to frequency into wave length okay you will have numericals based on this which we will be doing later now speed of sound in different media for now we are not doing it when you come to school we'll be doing it the next thing that you had seen in the video is this one examples showing speed of sound in steel is more than in air that comes in reasoning question just write here reasoning and this also comes in reasoning question just write it there okay we didn't do this we didn't do this and then straight come here this one comparison of speed of sound with speed of light so this is also an important difference that keeps coming very often so you can write difference between light wave and sound wave the question that you could have is difference between light wave and sound wave again you'll have four points so the first point will be light or this one second is this one third one speed of light decreases in a optically denser medium you should write this optically denser medium this much is enough for light and for sound speed of sound wave is more in solid less in liquid and still least in gases you need not write all these numbers just write these points that's enough okay fourth point is also there right then you have consequences of large difference and based on that again you'll have reasoning questions all the three you can have reasoning questions one thing in these answers when you uh, mention when you give answers for these questions here they have just written velocity of light is greater than velocity of sound but you are supposed to mention the values in every answer you have to say velocity of light is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second but velocity of sound is 330 meter per second because this velocity of light is so high 
light reaches first and all that, right? Then you can just cut it off. This is not in the syllabus. Experimental determination of speed of sound in air. Now come to the B part. Turn to page 184. So the first thing that you should know is the information given in this block. Sound of frequency in the range 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz is called sonic or audible. Less than 20 hertz, infrasonic sound of frequency greater than 20 kilohertz ultrasonic so all these information you are supposed to know this table you need not memorize the values but just that you should know animals can hear and produce sound infrasonic as well as ultrasonic sound so just that information is needed basically this one animals can produce and hear sounds of frequency below 20 hertz as well as 20 kilohertz the next important thing that you should know is properties of ultrasound so why ultrasound is used in many of the applications that we see following two additional properties which the audible sound does not possess okay so this is also an important two mark question that keeps coming often the answer will be first point energy carried by ultrasound is very high second ultrasound can travel along a well-defined straight path it doesn't get deviated. So till this if you write it's enough. So these are the two points that makes ultrasound um, useful in many of the applications. Now coming to application of ultrasound. This one is how bats avoid their obstacle. You had one exercise question based on this. I hope you wrote the answer. Now coming to the next page. You can just mark it uh, like this. Now these three are industrial applications. So I want you to write the heading about this industrial applications. And this is point number one. This is point number one. And this is point number two. And this is point number three. And second one for cleansing minute Objects such as parts of watches and electronic components, ultrasound is used. Till this, it's enough. Third point, in detection of defects in metals, ultrasound is used. It's enough if you write till this. Next, above this, write the heading, medical applications or medical uses. Okay, write the heading as medical uses. You can strike off this one. Start from here. This is point number one. Ultrasonography or ultrasound is used to obtain images of patients' organs such as liver, gallbladder. It helps to detect stones, tumors, etc. in them. Then second point, echocardiography. You can write in bracket ECG. It is used to obtain the image of the heart. And then third point is this one. Ultrasound is used in surgery to remove cataract and in kidneys to break the small stones into fine grains. So you have three industrial uses and three medical uses. These are asked specifically and you should be able to write them. Then the last part is you have a new term called supersonic. Ultrasonic we saw. This is supersonic. Now what is supersonic? Supersonic is used for objects which travel with a speed greater than speed of light. Ultrasound will travel with a speed 330 meter per second. Okay, its frequency is more, but the speed is the same as speed of sound in air. Whereas supersonic are those waves whose speed itself is more than 330 meter per second. Now, this also can come as a difference between ultrasonic and supersonic. Two points will be there. First point for ultrasonic, this is first point for supersonic. Then, example for supersonic is given. Example of ultrasonic you can write by yourself. Now, the work for today will be you're going to write all these three difference between answer for these three, three difference between questions in your notebook. One first is longitudinal wave and transverse wave, four points, light wave and sound wave, four points. And supersonic and ultrasonic wave, this only two points. Okay, this is the first thing you will do. And the second thing, in page 185, 
page 185. There is this question, state two applications of ultrasound. They don't ask generally like this. They ask specifically, state three applications each of ultrasound. One in industrial field, second medical field. So I want you to write in your notebooks in this way. State three applications of ultrasound, industrial uh, applications, medical. So under industrial, these three points, under medical, these three points. It will be easy for you to study. So please finish this on Tuesday. The coming Tuesday, you will be having a test of this chapter. So prepare thoroughly, study all those I have marked and given. Thank you.